College Algebra, Topic 1.3, Problem Number 10. We want to multiply these two binomials, so we'll use FOIL method, which is multiplying the first, the outside, the inside, and then the last. Okay. Multiplying the cube root of 4x squared times the cube root of 4x squared gives us the cube root of 16x to the fourth power. Then the cube root of 3x, uh, the cube root of 4x squared times negative 3 gives us negative 3, and the cube root of 4x squared. On the inside, we have 3 times the cube root of 4x squared, which is positive 3, third root of 4x squared. And then finally, we have positive 3 times negative 3, which will be a negative 9. Okay. Now, these two right here are um, the same terms with the opposite, so these will cancel. Then I want to simplify the 16 and the x to the 4. Well, 16, let's factor that. We can write that as 8 times 2, and 8 can be written as 4 times 2, and 4 can be written as 2 times 2. And we see here, for the cube root, we have a triplet of 2's there. So this will be the cube root of what's in the blue part right here, which will be 8, times what's on the outside, which is the 2. Okay. Now, this 4 is not in the 3 times table, so we're going to um, expand x to the 4th in such a way that we can get the 3 times tables. So we'll split it into x cubed times x, and then the minus 9. So from here we can simplify the 8, and we can simplify the x cubed. The 8 will simplify into a 2, whereas the x cubed will simplify into an x, and they'll all go up front. So the final answer will be 2x times the cube root of 2x, and then minus 9. Okay, number 12. We want to multiply these using all our expansion rules. Okay, first, I'm going to um, put these in expanded form. So we're going to remove the exponential form and spread these out. So this becomes x plus 5 times x plus 5, and this becomes x minus 5 times x minus 5. Okay, that's expansion. The next property I'm going to use is commutative property for multiplication. Commutative property for multiplication simply says that 5 times 4 gives you the same answer as 4 times 5. So you can change multiplication around. Here I have x plus 5 times x minus 5. I'm going to switch that around to x minus 5 and x plus 5. This combination here is a um, binomials that are conjugates. The rule for multiplying conjugates is a squared minus b squared. This is our a and this is our b. So a squared minus b squared. So a squared minus b squared. And then this is also the same conjugate. So we're going to also make that a, which is x, squared, minus 5, which is the b, squared. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and simplify this. x times x is x squared. 5 times 5 is 25. x times x is x squared. 5 times 5 is 25. Now I'm going to rewrite these two as an exponential. So this will be x squared minus 25 all squared. And lastly, I'm going to use my uh, binomial expansion rule for a minus b. The binomial expansion rule for a minus b is a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared. This is a, and that's b. So a a squared minus 2 times A, then times B, then plus B squared. 
and I want to simplify this. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Negative 2 times x squared times 25 is negative 50 x squared. And 25 times 25 will be 625. And this um, is the result of multiplying these two binomials.